Sunshot, Risk Runner, and Graviton Lance are rewards from completing a portion of the story quest on IO. The question you're probably asking is, which one's the best? My short answers are, if you're doing PvE, then Sunshot. If you plan on doing PvP, then also Sunshot. It's just a wonderfully consistent weapon that doesn't require any extra circumstances to make it better. If you want a more in-depth answer, then continue to watch this video. Sunshot and Risk Runner are both designed to do area of effect damage. Sunshot does it on every kill, and those kills can cause other things to explode as well in a daisy chain-like fashion. Risk Runner, on the other hand, requires you to take arc damage to get its area of effect lightning storm up and running. Once it's active though, it's the more powerful effect of the two weapons since it will also give you infinite ammo for its 5 second duration, and kills do extend that duration as well. Personally, I lean more towards Sunshot when recommending these three weapons since it's just such a powerhouse on its own. Its damage is solid, and paired with the weapon's high rate of fire, quick reload, and high handling speed, you just have a truly terrific weapon in PvE. That's all before factoring in the explosive rounds that do area of effect damage, and the explosive effect on kills can stun groups of enemies and cause chain explosions. Risk Runner, while at its best, is better than Sunshot in my opinion, its base stat without the Arc Conductor perk active is worse and some of the other legendary SMGs out there. Since I tend to judge weapons based on how consistent they are, Sunshot is my personal preference. However, no one can tell you how fun firing a weapon infinitely is until you try for yourself. Risk Runner's fun factor is much higher than Sunshot's if you prefer being a chain lightning god over a cool guy that causes explosions. If you're wondering why I've been silent on the Graviton Lance, it's because it's just such an odd weapon that I have trouble recommending it. It's a pulse rifle that acts like a scout rifle that has to be used at at pulse rifle ranges due to its quirks. The last round in the burst does massive damage, while the first two shots in the burst basically do nothing. The stability stat is also so high that your entire burst will basically land on a dime, but that final round also has more kick to make the weapon feel more akin to a pulse rifle. The plus side of this is that the final round has no real damage fall off, but since it's the final round in the burst, there's a good chance it will miss unless you properly lead your targets. So you're stuck with a gun that has near infinite range on one shot in a burst, but all the negative side effects of being a pulse rifle. I haven't even mentioned the black hole effect since it's unbelievably situational. Targets you will kill form a black hole and they will be flung away from where you killed them, exploding after a certain time. Most of the time it means this does nothing, since the black hole effect will be nowhere near other enemies. On the off chance it is, it doesn't do much damage either, so you're really just using this weapon for the high damage on the third round of each burst. For PvP, all these weapons' quirks definitely shine for the worst. Sunshot's high rate of fire makes it less than optimal for PvP since it will require more shots to hit. Risk Runner won't be active most of the time due to arc damage being such a high variance thing. Some games, the entire enemy team will be using arc energy weapons and arc subclasses, and other games, the exact opposite. Graviton Lance suffers from it being a slow firing weapon that requires precision hits in a world where fast weapons with high caliber rounds make that goal near impossible. I only recommend Sunshot over the other weapons here because its fast handling makes it great for something to swap to if you're caught in a reload or you need to quickly put a chunk of damage on someone else. That about does it for this video. I hope you found the information helpful and you pick a weapon that you end up liking. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.